Astoria Film Festival Presents brings you Queens Nonprofits, a series of interviews with nonprofit leaders from around Queens, New York. Queens Nonprofits was conceived of and created by the Astoria Film Festival's Film Fellows, a group of high school and college students interested in film and media and mentored by our festival director along with industry professionals. Promotional funding for Queens Nonprofits was provided by a grant from the NYC and Company Foundation and the Queensboro President's Office of Cultural Affairs. Kaufman Arts District uh, was really a joint idea between the Museum of the Moving Image, the Queens Council on the Arts, and the Kaufman Astoria Studios. Um, I want to say back in, geez, maybe 2014, 2015, around there. This was literally an illegal dump site in the 80s. Dangerous around here, and Mark DeSuvero, living legend, like one of my huge heroes, um, he had a studio and still does have a studio down the street from us called FaceTime. And he's the one who noticed this tract of land that could transform into something so incredible for the people if someone could steward it. First of all, you know, once a month we come down to the shoreline and do a shoreline cleanup. There's tons of litter uh, from, from, the, from boats and from people congregating on Shore Boulevard. Uh, and, and really, you know, this, this spreads throughout the city. So uh, it's the first line of impact. We, we really we go down here for two hours and um, make a change. And, you know, we have, we have a, a ladder, it's all regulated. Um, but we team with the Parks Department and ask uh, the Parks Administrator what, what their needs are. We teach them how to be efficient in using the space, efficient in their time, producing more in a shift, which means that they're going to gain more revenue. I, I have, you know, been trying to think of ways to approach, um, you know, city advocacy as can we consider dance workers, dance companies, and, and dance spaces uh, as small business. And so can those be then treated and funded and protected? It's, it's six years old at this point, I think. Yeah, at a certain point we, we started um, making really high quality, just multi-camera video documents of all of our performances and putting them online. And we, and we just make them, we just put them up there for free. I mean, it's, it's always a bit surprising to me how many people are watching them. Another client, Anita Saravastia, who was also, was also a client about 10 years ago. Uh, she was making fabrics uh, based on Indian motifs. But she was like technology. She entered our small business competition, not win it, but she gained a lot of knowledge. And about seven years ago, she morphed from fabrics to technology. Long story short, the company is doing very well. She formed a technology fund to fund minority people who want to go to technology. She's yes, now yes, one of the yes. funders of our, our startup program. And it's a great story. 